In Luke chapter 22, we find ourselves at the Passover with the disciples. And, and we find them arguing over greatness, who's going to be the greatest among them. And Jesus comes to Peter, maybe because he's being the loudest, the most arrogant, the most proud, I don't know. And he says, Simon, Satan has asked for you that he may sift you like wheat, that, that he might, you know, take Peter down. He says, but I prayed for you. And here's what Jesus says. I pray for you that your faith should not fail. And when you have returned to me, strengthen your brethren. Well, Peter, instead of being humble and saying, yes, Lord, pray for me, I need prayer. He just says, Lord, I'm ready to go with you both to prison and to death. It, it's amazing how quick the tables turn on Peter because after the arrest and everyone scatters, Peter does indeed deny Jesus three times. We know the story. And after the resurrection, Jesus hunts him down, finds him at the Sea of Galilee, fishing with the men. And he asks him a question. Peter, do you love me? Do you love me? Do you love me? He asks him three times. And Peter finally kind of throws his hands up and says, yes, Lord, I love you. You know I love you. You know all things. You knew I was going to deny you. You knew I was going to fail. You knew I was going to be out here fishing. And Jesus, instead of rebuking him or creating some kind of difficult pathway for Peter, he says, Peter, just go back to what I called you to do and feed my sheep. Listen, all of us, I think, when things are going good, think we're capable of, yeah, I'll follow you, Jesus, no matter what. But Jesus comes to us and he says, look, I know you. I know who you are. You're weak. I'm praying for you. And he restores us. The, the wonderful story of, of, of Peter is that even though he's weak, and so are we, and even though we stumble and fall, and we all do, that Jesus is the one who restores. Jesus is the one who rebuilds. As we've been studying through Nehemiah, Jesus is the one who renews life again. And that's what happens in the life of Peter. And that's what happens in our lives over and over again. Jesus restores.